What is going on everybody? DJ Mines here and in today's video it's been over a month of us using this Alpha 4000 build. Let's talk about it. If you're wondering what this huge thing is this is my helium minor antenna different video but anyways guys look I was very skeptical to get this card the Alpha 4000 card. I bought it a while ago and I didn't really see any videos on it. There was like no information on it and it seems like these days everybody's talking about either Alpha 2000, Alpha 4000, some people the Alpha 5000 and I'm just going to give you an honest review and feedback. Do I like like it? Is it worth it? Do I recommend it? We'll talk about hash rates and how much we're making. At the making of this video, we're making about $26.64 off of this six card rig. That's six Alpha 4000s. I did have eight. I sold one to Chump Change and Red Fox has my other one. So I have seven eventually whenever he gives that back. But right now we just have the six and total that's just shy of $800. Right now it's about $799 on what to mine at the making of this video. So for the first time ever, I'm going to show you the back of these. I think you can see a lot of the memory and everything on the back it's pretty cool but yeah so when i first got these man i didn't see anybody that had these and i was very skeptical because these are workstation cards these are not made for crypto mining and you know in this market it's so hard to get non-lhr cards so the cool selling point for me and the gamble that i took back then was that these were essentially 30 70s non-lhr and as far as hash rate these are actually doing better than my non-lhr 3070 founder edition and 3060 ti founder edition so all of these are rocking just shy of 63 mega hash. I can actually get them to 64 and even 65 mega hash. They'll be stable on 64 or 65 mega hash for about 12 hours. And then it'll have to reboot. And it happens like twice a day on HiveOS. So it's not 100% stable, but if you can deal with, you know, one or two reboots and that's about it, like other than that, no problems with 65 mega hash, you can pretty much rock 64, 65. So these are blower style fans, as you can see here, there's just one fan, it sucks it in here. These all run at 100% and it shoots out the back. That's pretty much it. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. The difference between these Alpha 4000s though, is that we still running these uh, VGA or, or PCIe uh, to the PSU where I, from my understanding, the Alpha 2000s, you don't do that. Alpha 2000s, they only run off of these risers here. So I have a hundred of those on order. It's four to six weeks. It's been about three weeks. So hopefully we'll get those before Christmas. If not, we'll get those sometime in January. But I've always liked this top little line here. In real life, I don't know if the camera's picking up. It's like a gold. Have you ever seen like the Titan? I don't remember if it's the Titan X or the regular Titan where it's got like the whole um, graphics card is like this color, like a goldish color. That's what it is. And it looks really slick, really nice. Now in the summertime, we were testing these uh, I don't know, July, August, whenever I first got these, it was just like a couple of them and we've built our way up. And at that time I was getting really high temperatures on the memory. That was just open rig though. That was one of these Alpha 4000s without a fan, right? And so I've had it since then. I've had it for quite some time now. It's definitely been over a month, maybe even two months. I'd have to check, but have I had any issues? Absolutely not. Zero. Now, to be fair, it's gotten cooler in here. But in this room that I'm in, I'm upstairs, it's always been in the 80s. Now it's hitting the 70s. I'm so sorry for the cable management. I had I had eight of these in here. And so I left these for when the eight come back or when the seventh comes back. So excuse that, but I've had absolutely no issues. And that was an ambient temperatures of 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It's hit up to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, zero issues so far. But definitely you have to keep these cool or give them some kind of fan. Because like I said, when I had the open rig, I would definitely see losing hash rate, maybe one, two, even three sometimes. And it seemed like it would hit 110. Um, that's when I was checking on Windows, but now I have HiveOS, so I can't 100% know. But as far as stability, I can't express how impressed I am with these cards. They are phenomenal. Look how slim these cards are, man. This is my finger, by the way. It's about the size of my finger, give or take a little bit. That's wild. And so like, I, what I wanna get is some Octo Miners or something and maybe get 12 of them. And I would imagine you could just put like one here, 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 here. They're so slim and under the right circumstance, you would have to be able to cool them or get them some air or something. But under the right circumstance, you could get a lot of Alpha 4000s or Alpha 2000s. So what's the better buy? in my opinion. Now, like I said, I don't have an Alpha 2000 just yet. I'm still waiting, hopefully by the end of December or early January. But as of right now, I would say probably your best bet is Alpha 2000s for the right price. So I got these for $1,075. Um, they are not $1,075 anymore. Let me tell you that. Before I made those videos, you could find these for almost MSRP, but ever since I started making those videos, sorry about that guys, now they're $1,400, $1,500. So should you be paying $1,400 for these cards? Uh, I really don't think so. Now on the flip side, if you could find an Alpha 4000 for $1,100, which is around 
MSRP, which you're probably not gonna find. But if you somehow could find it on a restock or something, I would say, yeah, pull the trigger, why not? It's your money, but yeah, I would do it personally. Because the thing is, man, the GPU market we're in, everything sucks. You know, 3060 Ti's cost $900 for LHR. Uh, 6600s are going up in price, $650. I've seen them for $750 from Amazon and that's actually from Amazon. That's not even scalper, man. Like these things are getting out of control. And I was listening to uh, Chump Change podcast yesterday with Max Bolts, which is them. I forgot who mentioned it. It might've been in the comment section below, but somebody said that AMD is raising their prices by 10 to 20%. So, I mean, if it happens, things are just gonna get worse and worse. The supply does not seem to be getting any better. And I don't know, for me personally, my strategy, I'm not going balls deep. Like I said, I'm buying like 100 or so. I'm not buying like 500 like I wanted to, but you know, I'm, I'm still buying because I want to be in the game. I need some kind of skin in the game, especially while Ethereum is still profitable, while you can still hit Ethereum. In May, you couldn't even find graphics cards, okay? Let me tell you, I think 3060 Ti's were like 16, 18, $2,000. Now I find them all the time. I get at least three Zotex a month, you know, just from the website, not even from camping or like really checking. I'll just randomly go into Zotac and buy a 3060 Ti for like 700 bucks or 750, you know? And it's, you couldn't do that back in May. It was impossible. So, you know, this is unfortunately the market that we live in. And since these are just like a 3070 and a little bit of differences, but since it's basically a 3070 non-LHR, so many people say, is it good at this algorithm? Is it good at that algorithm? It's actually good on most algorithms. It's surprisingly good on Ravencoin. Uh, Firo, I haven't tried just yet. I just started doing Firo solo mining. It's pretty good so far, um, but that's with 3060 Ti's. But this is just as good as the 3070. As far as performance, if you only want to talk about performance, it's just as good as your 30. So anything that it's good at normally, it's going to be good at as well, if not a little bit better. Because like I said, these are rocking 62.9, basically 63 mega hash each, no problem. Never really shuts down unless I want it to shut down and I can get it to 64, 65. I can't really do that with my 3070s, especially on Ethereum, no way. I can't do that with my 3060 Ti's, even non-LHR, it's just not really happening. But these can do 60 plus with no problem, without even trying. But we also have to talk about the cons, it's not all good. The heat could be an issue for you. Like I said, with my ambient temperatures, right now we're in the higher 60s, but in the 80s, it's not a problem, as long as I have fans. If I didn't have fans, it was a big problem, and I would lose two, three, one mega hash, and so that adds up, you know, if you had a whole farm of these, it would add up. So that's why I think maybe the Alpha 2000 could be better for your situation. Now, if we look at Shop BLT right now, how much is an Alpha 2000? You can get those, I think, for 600, 650. It might change depending on the day. Like I said, a lot of people are making videos on them now, so the prices are starting to go up because you know people are catching on. Instead of them just being a workstation card, people are like, oh, you can crypto mine off this? Well, why make 500 bucks off this if I could sell it for retail for 650, right? But that's a lot more reasonable because with an Alpha 2000, it's 40 to what, 42 mega hash, and you're burning 65 watts, give or take some, and you don't have to worry about anything but the riser, like that's really cool. Or your other option is buy these Alpha 4000s, these are kind of like a big step up, but the price is through the roof, you know? You could buy two Alpha 2000s for the same price as one of these, if not even save a couple hundred bucks, you know? So that would be 80 mega hash, with a little bit more wattage. So, you know, depending on the situation, and I understand guys, look, I'm in the same boat as you most of the time. Like we, there's not a lot of options. There's not like, oh, today I wanna buy 3090s, or maybe today I wanna buy 3070s. And that's why we're looking at these kind of cards, man, because that's the market that we're in right now. We don't have a lot of options and you take what you can get, man. Like if it was up to me, I would probably just buy a crap load of 3070s and 3060s and that's it. But these days I'm looking at 6600s XTs, which I like a lot, Alpha 2000s, Alpha 4000s. I've looking at alpha 5000 for video sake but to be honest with you man my videos make anywhere from like two to three dollars and i don't think that'd be worth it i'd probably get like five to ten dollars back and be out like three or four thousand dollars <laughs> so as cool as that would be man unless we did like a gofundme which i'm not asking for by the way i can't see myself buying like an alpha 5000 or something like that so bottom line should you buy these in my opinion like i said if you can get them for that msrp or maybe plus a hundred dollars probably not $200 more, but I guess you could pay $200 more, like that 1200 range, then yeah, I would go ahead and buy it because obviously I bought these, right? Like I said, they were under 1100 when I bought them. And for you, they're probably not gonna be any more. But 
I would really say go for the Alpha 2000s if you absolutely had a choice. If it was like, this is how much it's gonna cost for 670 or 700 bucks, just go with the Alpha 2000, man. But this is still a great car and definitely a good buy. You know, it's like a step up. So the cool thing is once these are paid off, they're making way more than your Alpha 2000, right? So that's something to consider. If you had a perfect situation and you had all the choices in the world, you'd probably go for a 3070 and that'd be my number one pick. But these aren't a bad pick in this current market. So through the bull market, there's no denying these cards are incredible, especially for the price, unless you're paying above MSRP. These things are holding sick value. Even the Quadros, these are not, well, technically these are Quadros, but they're not called Quadro. So don't get confused. Don't buy the green and white one. That's, that's the Quadro as how they're labeling it. And those are not very good, but these black ones, these are the newer ones. But anyways, guys, so right now, even the Quadros, the generation before these that don't even get much mega hash compared to these, they are going for over a thousand dollars. Think about that. In a bull market, they're going for over a thousand dollars, the old generation, right? So obviously these are way better in a bull market. Now in a bear market, right? Bear market market, meaning things get bad, this whole thing comes down. Are these going to hold their value? Probably not. I don't think so. I don't think so. But that depends on your situation. Are you trying to sell? Are you just a guy who flips GPUs? There's nothing wrong with that if you, if you are, if that's your style, right? But are you trying to sell your GPUs or are you trying to make coin? Me personally, I'm holding, man. I'm holding the fork. I got a full-time job. I don't care about selling, man. I'm holding all these coins, unless it's things like Firo and stuff like that. I might sell those kind of coins, but like Ethereum, you know, more trusted coins, Raven coins, stuff like that. I'm holding, man. I'm holding these coins. I don't care if there's a bear market. I don't care if there's a bull market, man. If there's a bear market for me, that's opportunity. I'll buy things cheap, 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 and I'll just keep buying. So I'll buy them now. I'll buy them then for way cheaper. I'm just going to keep buying. I don't really mind any of that because I'm in this for the five years, 10 years, 15 years from now is what I'm looking at. I'm not getting out of crypto unless it becomes illegal or something like that. This is just the beginning stages, in my opinion, of what cryptocurrency will become. And Ethereum and Bitcoin is definitely one of the coins that I trust so much, man. Like I believe in Ethereum long-term value. Now mining, Obviously, that's a different situation, but I'm talking about the physical, well, not the physical coin, the coin itself that's digital. I believe in that coin. I think it will always have a value to it, and I'm not worried about it at all. So for me and my strategy, if it's under a year, I think it's a good buy. There's no other business that you can you can go buy a McDonald's, right, and make all your money back in a year. It doesn't happen. You know, there's really not much you can do in life business-wise because that's what this becomes a business. Once you take it from a hobby and getting over a giga hash and really getting into it, right? It's more of like a business in a way, and it's still a hobby. It's fun, but you got to treat it like a business too, right? And at that point, if you if I can buy a GPU and make even most of my money back before Ethereum crashes, I'm good with that, man, because I still got the hardware. I still got the coin. Even if the coin goes down, I don't mind. Maybe I'll sell in the next bull market or the bull market after that, right? There's a lot of long term. So think about it, man. Does it make sense for you? For me, it makes sense at MSRP or plus $100, maybe $200 all day, but it might not for you. And thanks for watching this video, guys. I know a lot of you have been asking about the Alpha 4000 and I don't know. I just stopped making videos on it, which I need to get back into it. I want to do a 3070 versus Alpha 4000. I know Red Fox wanted to do it. To be honest, that's the only reason I haven't done it, but he hasn't done it yet. And it's been weeks and I, you know, I wanted to wait for him to do it out of respect, but he hasn't done it. So I might just pull the trigger, man. I might just go ahead and like get an Alpha 4000 right here. Like how you see my CPUs just like set up an Alpha 4000 versus an uh, 3070. I'm sorry if I'm pointing wrong and just compete them, man. Just do it. Maybe even live stream, make a video on it. Let me know if that's something you're interested in, man. And we can just compete them and really, you know, versus whatever you want to call that and just have them fight to the death. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. At the making of this video, we're almost at 2,200 subscribers. We could always use more people in my discord. We have a good amount of people, but we need more people. The more people there, the more active people there that are talking, even when I'm not around, the bigger it'll be. And we can all just talk about crypto or you can talk about whatever we play video games and stuff so so definitely join the discord man and i'll catch you guys in the next video dj minds signing now